I anticipate the greeting of Happy Easter and I know our beloved Paris priest will greet you officially afterwards. But tonight we proclaim the joy that we have. This is the night of happy phones we celebrate. This is Easter season. Happy Easter to each and everyone. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Let's give a big round of applause to everyone. Beautifully, it was presented there the whole story of this evening. It was beautifully done by those who had managed to do it. With all the technology of the day, Jesus had been raised from the dead. Did you enjoy? Yes. Mukhang it's not so much. Did you enjoy? Yes. yes. So there is something, yes. Are you happy for that? Yes. yes. Did you learn a message? Yes. yes. For those who made it wonderfully, and of course, for the initiative of our parish priest, let's give them a big round of applause. But I want to say to the beauty of the presentation, I would like to ask, did you listen to the readings? Uh, you did not listen. And therefore, I would like to check if you did listen. First row, what is the first reading from where it is coming from? Yes. Very good. And what is the responsorial song at the back? Very good. Send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Second row, from where is the second reading? Very good. Only you know at the back, from where is the second reading? Very good. They have the response. Those at the social wall, from where is the third reading? Oh, very good. Isaiah. And the fourth reading is? Isaiah as well. They memorize very much. And those outside, from where is the fifth reading? I could hear this voice from Ezekiel. And it's so nice. You have listened. You tell each other, thank you, you did listen. I remember the story of Father Suarez, one of our priests. One day he went for a mass. It was an emergency mass. And he got a woman to read. Beautifully, it was read. But after the reading, she does not know what to say. And she was asking, Father, what shall I say? And Father Swartz was saying, Say my But she understood it one another way and proclaimed it louder and said, Brothers and sisters, this is the end of the world. And everybody responded, Thanks be to God. <laughs> Yesterday, we seem to be in the end of the world. But tonight we come proclaiming Christ our life. Thanks be to God. We come to believe in Jesus as the angel had proclaimed. We come to believe because Christ has been raised from the dead. Amen. Amen. Well, give the Lord a big round of applause. Christ has been raised. And therefore he is with us. And for that I will start by reflection. From the very proclamation of the light, Christ our light, thanks be to God, we come to believe in the Lord who had been there for us. Three reflections for the day. I have ten minutes, Father. First reflection. When we say Christ is our light, thanks be to God. We see there is only one beauty in another that Christ is our light. Tonight we declare that Christ is our light. When we say Christ is our light, we see meaning and beauty and reason for that. We find reason in life. We find beauty and meaning in life. And we can declare and say, Christ is our life. Life is beautiful. Life is meaningful. There is reason to live. Amen. Amen. Is your life beautiful? Yes. And so are you beautiful? Yes. Oh, can you say, I am beautiful? I am beautiful. Can you tell the right you are more beautiful than me? <laughs> okay, your life, you can say you are bigger than me. Christ makes our life beautiful. Why? There is the resurrection. We come to believe that life is beautiful because there is Christ. We come to believe that Christ has given meaning to our life. Is life meaningful? Yes. yes. Truly it's meaningful. When I see parents with their children there, truly life is meaningful. When I see you, husband and wife, looking together, working together, loving together, life is meaningful. When you, I see you bring your children to the church, truly life is meaningful. Christ has given meaning to our life because Christ is our life. Life is meaningful as such. Amen? Amen. Are you sure? Is your life meaningful? Yes. Oh, can you tell that you're right? My life is meaningful because of you. <laughs> you see, my dad, your dad can tell you, you are my problem every day. That's why life is meaningful. We find meaning in our life. We find the reason why we have to wake up every day. Because Christ has been raised from the dead and we believe in that. And truly we can declare tonight, Christ is light. Thanks be to God. And Christ is my life. Amen. So there is reason to live, there is meaning to life, there is beauty in living, as the beautiful Italian phrase would say, la vita è dolce. 
You make my life meaningful. You make my life sweet. That is the resurrection of the Lord. We believe in the resurrection. The very reason of our human existence, the very reason of our faith, Christ has been raised. And so therefore, with His resurrection, we can continue living on. And tomorrow, we will wake up again because there is meaning in our life. Amen. Amen. Well, you tell me, you're right, you are my life. You are my life. Then you're left to say, I'm happy you are alive. <laughs> Secondly, when you say Christ is love, thanks be to God, it means Christ is my freedom. From Exodus, Christ is liberating us. From where is He liberating us? From what is that freedom for? Many times, we have our fear. Do you have your fears in life? Yes. yes. We are many times afraid of death. Are you afraid to die? No. Oh, you are afraid. You are afraid. <laughs> can you tell, Lord, I am not afraid. Lord, I am not afraid. Can you continue, Lord, please get me. Can <laughs> you say you are afraid to die? Or you tell me, you're right, Lord, he first. No? Oh, Christ removed our fear. Christ is our freedom. Christ is our liberation. Today, amidst our fears, amidst our many undoings, there is Christ who gives us freedom and is offering it to us. Why? He has been raised. We have seen the light. And truly, when there is light, there is no room for darkness. Darkness is over because we have light. When there is darkness, we grow up in the world. We don't know where to go. But that light has been enlightened already. That light has been lighted. No more room for fear. Therefore, we move on because we become courageous men and women. We are men and women of the Easter season. We are the Easter of God. And so we move to the world without being afraid because Christ is our freedom. Are you afraid in life? Yes. Me, I have still my fears. At times, I'm afraid to fly. I'm afraid for other things. But tonight, the resurrection has given me another meaning. No fear for life because God is there. Even no fear for death, because God is there. No fear to love more and more, because God is there. There is the resurrection of the Lord. Are you afraid? No. Are you still afraid? Are you afraid? No. Oh, and you tell me you're right, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. To your left and you say, I am afraid of your face. <laughs> not anymore. No room for fear, because Christ has said already the new ransom of our human story. And therefore, in the story of man and woman, Easter man and woman, that fear is removed. Christ has gone ahead of us. From darkness to light, from sadness to joy, from fear to courage, from struggles to a new life, from death to resurrection, Christ has overcome. And today He is liberating us. You are free. You are liberated. You are transformed. There is the resurrection of the Lord. And we give the Lord a big round of applause. Come and thank you for him. We are not afraid anymore. Can you say that one? I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am liberated. I am liberated. My read the Bible, there are so many words and phrases of that. 365 times. Do not be afraid. That means every day the Lord is assuring you, do not be afraid. Again, tell to your right, do not be afraid. I am there for you. Do not be afraid, I am there. And you're there to say, do not be afraid, I can lend you money as well. <laughs> not to be afraid in life because Christ is there already. And so therefore we declare, Christ our life, thanks be to God, we come and believe as the angel will proclaim. Do you believe in God to remove your fear? Yes. That's why that is beautiful. Couples are here. Do not be afraid to love more and more. Children who are here, do not be afraid to become more obedient and loving wherever you are. Do not be afraid to pursue life because life is a wonderful gift of God. Amen. Amen. And lastly, when we say Christ our life, thanks be to God, we say that Christ is my joy. That was my, my reflection the other day, but again I would like to repeat and ask you, are you happy in life? Yes. But you are not happy. It means you did not discover it alone. Are you happy in life? Yes. It means you remove your fear. Are you happy in life? Yes. Very good. It means that your life is meaningful. Christ our joy. The real story of our life. And when there is Christ's reason for us, there is room for joy always. What does it mean Christ is our joy? Verses. He wanted to bring contentment to the heart of every human being. Why our heart will never be contented as we look for more and more in life. But Christ resurrected. He wanted to say, be contented in life and be happy in life. Can you tell your neighbor, be happy in life? Be 
Be happy in life. When you laugh and you say, be contented. Be contented. And do not complain. Many times we complain, that's a sign of discontent. Many times we look for many things in life, but we never, never find those things. Only in Christ we find meaning and contentment. Only Christ can give us real happiness. I would like to ask you, look at your priests. They have grown. Be with you every day. That's their joy. And being with you is our joy as well. Hopefully you are happy to be with us. Are you happy to be with us? Yes. But not to us, because hopefully you see Christ in us. Do you see Christ in us? Yes. That's the resurrection. The veil of darkness is removed when we see each other as brothers and sisters. The veil of darkness is removed at death when we see each other as members of the family, proclaiming the gospel of Christ, the good news, and we become good news to each other. Therefore, we are happy for each other. Again, I ask, wives, are you happy with your husband? No. Uh, as much are you happy with your wife? Yes. Oh, there's no answer. Ah, you are missing a lot. You are missing a lot. The joy of the night is a beautiful joy that the Lord is giving us. But the joy that you wanted to say, only Christ is the source of that real joy. And what is that eternal life for those of you living in Him? As He said, we constantly proclaim, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in Him will have life everlasting. Joy on earth, but moving forward as well to the joy of heaven. Only Christ can give us real happiness. Yes, we can go here and there. Yes, we can run here and there. But then we go up to the resurrection. As the last reading would say, seek the Lord while He can be found. The Lord can be found, the real joy of life. Can you tell me you're right? There is the Lord, the source of joy. There is the Lord, the source of joy. You're left and you say, I am happy to see you every day. I am happy to see you every day. And you continue, it's only a joke. <laughs> <laughs> there is Christ, is our life and joy. And there we say, Christ is my life. Thanks be to God, I have happiness. Happiness because I am at peace. Happiness because I am forgiven. Happiness because I can go on with a new life. Happiness because I have new hope in life. Happiness because there is Christ waiting for me as well. Do you want eternal life? Yes. yes. Or oh, you know each other. Can you tell to your life after his death, where will he go? Can you tell to your life, you will go in heaven? Can you tell? Yes. Oh, you are not sure. You are not sure. To your left, can you say, you will stay in Kujaira only. <laughs> In there is Christ as our real happiness, and we look forward to be with Him today. Tonight, when you say Christ our life, thanks be to God, it means Christ is my life. Meaning, beauty and reason that I wake up every day, even in my suffering, even at times I lost the work, even at times life is difficult. There is hope, and life is still in Christ. Now, Christ is our life, thanks be to God. We see that Christ is the real story of our life. And so therefore, we have our freedom. We remove our fears. And we say Christ is our life. Thanks be to God. We see real joy. And we look forward to what is more permanent in life. God be with you. And happy Easter. Amen.